Welcome to Channel AMEC, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested in my migrate to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on a little bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one of getting all the insight. Now in this video, I would like to take you a little bit of a subject called the exercise science and sport. Uh, it's uh, not a very uh, popular topic or courses to be actually be uh, studied with. It's actually um, subconnected to somehow medical schools and things, but due to all the sports olympics international events and things the exercise sport and science has become one of the uh, most asked and inquired topic so i would like to take you into the detail of this subject and should this discipline of study in university be your interest of your future this video will actually cover everything until the end when you get the visa and stuff so stay tuned now let's go into uh, one of the university uh, which uh, we have previously I think we have discussed about Griffiths before now Griffiths University is located in Brisbane and Gold Coast in Queensland uh, it does it's it's actually very popular as one of the uh, destined university uh, that taught exercise science and sport uh, so I'm taking this uh, university as a example obviously there's a lot of other university does provide uh, this courses now uh, prior to getting into the bachelor uh, you may consider diploma certificate of the trainer uh, the, um, the fitness trainer certificates which a lot of people actually works as a fitness trainer or fitness coach in gyms and things and workshop and things like that uh, but if you want to uh, get more depth uh, into the sports science a bachelor course is obviously required so Griffiths University does um, provide this course and as you can see I really love uh, the home page web design of Griffiths University um, it does bring you a very very clear where you can go and the pictures and the topics uh, does it's really really attractive so basically the courses uh, teaches you um, how an expert profession in sports science could actually assist the sportsmen or athletes uh, with the development of whatever the uh, sports or event that they are uh, focusing so that's actually very important as you can see nowadays uh, most of the athletes and the famous sports like uh, Tiger Woods uh, you name people from NBA people from all kinds of different sport crickets rugby they'll have their own uh, fitness uh, exercise sports expert or instructor beside well generally you call them trainer but they are not really a coach trainer coach does all the team uh, trainings but a personal trainer uh, and a sports science instructor is a little bit different uh, than a personal trainer is so as you can see here it, it provides a lot of different uh, aspect and scope within the science of sports if you want to become uh, a very very um, detailed understanding of how sports science can affect the sportsmen the athletes this will be the best course that you can actually pick so there's a sports uh, a bachelor of sport development three-year course a bachelor of exercise science and the bachelor of clinical exercise uh, physiology that's four years now we we're gonna talk about how that will actually link that's actually uh, I'm actually blocking that let me get off that screen there okay you can see that that's bachelor of clinical exercise here for four years uh, that's actually uh, a very very good course uh, that could actually brings um, you and ca catapult your your career to become a physi physiotherapist that was we're gonna talk about this later on um, now following on 
with a profession, obviously, uh, it's open up for international students to study. Uh, the only uh, disadvantage that I'm going to talk about is where let's refer to the immigration's uh, web page on the skill occupation list. Is that uh, if you are only an exercise um, uh, physiologist, as you can see here, the disadvantage is that you can only access to the regional occupation list, which is extremely limited. The, the reason why they they only do that is they, they were rather leaving these uh, experts and professions for the domestic uh, Australians to actually uh, conduct this work. But if you are an expert in this field uh, and you're in regional Australia, for example, Darwin, uh, northern, far north Queensland, um, and Adelaide, South Australia, uh, you'll be able to access this through 407, 489, 482 uh, under the medium term stream, uh, 187, 494, and 491. So it's actually very, very limited. That's what I'm saying. If you're only taking a bachelor course, it, it really limits your development uh, and your future in Australia. So the, the, only, the only other options I'm going to take you to uh, University of Sydney. Now, as you can see, University of Sydney's website, I, I can't say it's bad, but in compared to Griffiths University, oh, you, you make the pick. Okay, now, once you've done the bachelor, you may want to upgrade yourself uh, with a further uh, post-grad study onto Master of Physiotherapy, which will actually catapult you and your career in Australia to a new dimension. Uh, obviously, this is, uh, is straight into a medical field of study, uh, but obviously the career and, and, and your work and employment in the future is much vast than just being an exercise uh, instructor or a professional physiologist. Okay, so as a physiotherapy or a physiotherapist, it does cover a lot more. So um, that's for another uh, two years of master study there. So if you combine all together, that will actually take you uh, five to six year in compare what, what whichever state or whichever uh, the university that you wanted to pick. So if we go back to the occupation list, that's punching uh, physiotherapist. Here we go. Now as you can see um, the options that you have uh, under. Uh, occupation of physiotherapist uh, ENSCO 252511 uh, it's actually in the medium and long term skill occupation list and that gets you a lot more options you can get access to 189, 186, 190 and all the skill migration category visas you'll be able to access with so uh, that is why we uh, strongly um, promote and prefer uh, however uh, people that's uh, doing this career you may take step by step so uh, some people start with a certificate and diploma to, to become a personal trainer certificates and then they move on to sports science and bachelor or clinical uh, sports science uh, and then further on they move into master of physiotherapist now talking about the skill assessing authority now if you are only an exercise uh, physiologist uh, you will need to go through uh, vet assess. Vet assess. Now, um, obviously, this is very common at the largest skill assessing authority. Um, they assess uh, people generally in a managerial role and some of the trades and other. Uh, so, a vet assessor's requirement is that once you pass, um, you, you get your qualification, you need to have a post qualification. Uh, ex uh, experiences, work experiences for at least 12 months in order to pass skill assessing authority. However, uh, because of what we have seen in the options of further development in the uh, visa pathways, um, getting this skill assessment, unless you already got employed in the uh, regional um, areas of Australia, uh, otherwise, um, we we really prefer and advise that you might take a master of physiotherapist, uh, so then you move into uh, that field of expertise. But take saying by saying that, uh, you're required to have further studies in. You can see that the skill assessing authority on top of me. Uh, here we go. 
see that it says APC it's not the assess so let's go into that skill assessing authority now that skill assessing authority is here uh, whether you can see that no oh here we go now Australian Physiotherapy Council it's a council that's connected to APRA which is the uh, registration um, board for all the medical professions so to be assessed as a um, physiotherapist it's actually much harder uh, for example you were required to actually complete these courses from the approved program of study so uh, let's have a look where they are that's a previous page that I've shown um, I've actually done a, a search already for approved program study for master courses here uh, so they are Flinders you can see that there Griffith you see that Griffith is there still so once you finish the bachelor you can actually move on to master of physiotherapy uh, La Trobe University Swinburne uh, University of Queensland University of Canberra University of South Australia University of Sydney that's the website that we have just shown that's that one there okay uh, and where else um, here we go jumping back you know this is technology of Sydney UTS and the Victoria University they all offer a master course now, Victoria University offer a bachelor and master together in four years now that may be one of the choice that you can actually uh, having that degree and the uh, qualification require now there's other ways uh, to assess whether or not you are a qualified um, physiotherapist for Australian standards so there's a council issue certificate of substantial equivalent after successful complete an equivalent qualification pathway or a council issue final certificate of after successful complete a standard assessment pathway or a council or unconditional general registration with physiotherapist board of Australia so that's getting to there uh, have a look what they are um, so this is the um, page when you click that link you get that equivalent or qualification so what is equivalent qualification pathway the equivalent qualification pathway evaluates whether an overseas uh, physiotherapy qualification could be considered substantial comparable to an accredited Australian entry level program and route and general registration with the registration uh, physiotherapy board of Australia so they basically assess uh, the qualification that you have obtained and gained offshore overseas uh, which is a good way to go so if you have study and, and you are already practicing as a physiotherapist you might want to do this so a requirement there's no experience uh, there's no experience or English language requirement to go through this uh, and however you may be required to produce evidence of these uh, when it required for registration so if we come if we come back to that page there at the bottom uh, to become a, a skill assess positive in as a uh, physiotherapist you need to pass that APRA English language skill registration standard which is IELTS 7 across 4 bands okay now uh, so when that is successful then obviously you go through you you will get your skill assessment and the other standard assessment is that um, uh, so what is standard assessment standard assessment pathway access assess your skill knowledge you're obviously qualified uh, physio as a route of general registration with the physio service board Australia uh, which is part of APRA uh, so requirement what is a requirement um, an overseas qualified physiotherapist minimum of diploma level qualification and okay minimum uh, and minimum qualification require uh, without any restriction or be able to legally practice without restriction of the country of training there not there are no experience or English language requirement a standard pathway however you may be required so it's the same now the difference between these two is we if we look at the pathway uh, we check on the eligibility of assessing uh, and then you need to do uh, um, looks like it's gonna be an examination you can see that there now this one uh, is one thousand and hundred and twenty dollars processing time two weeks and then you go into an examination of $1,930 and then another uh, practical assessment so another $4,200 so it's not a cheap uh, pathway to actually go through um, but uh, I think that's the only way that you can do so if we come back to the equal balance or qualification pathway uh, down here I might 
turn off my here now you may see that graph there does my university qualification and cohort year of study exactly match the one listed equivalent program if it's yes then we go on this program if it's not then we go through standard assessment so the the, the differences between the two uh, is that uh, you might still wanted to go through the um, the equivalent qualification ex um, existing program if it doesn't if it, if it comes back with a negative then we need to go through that standard assessing uh, process that we just talked about on all these costing assessments that you're required to be done so that's uh, how a physiotherapist can actually be assessed and get their assessment done in order to actually get the visa required or perhaps migrate to Australia Anyway, do you think to become an exercise physiologist or a physiotherapist is a good career? Why don't you leave a comment right down below? And I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.